Well, if you saw the community post, I bought some uh, of this VVA foam mat interlocking stuff to uh, go in the brewery slash temporary railway room. Uh, quite nice. It's nice and nice going underfoot. As you can tell, I'm I'm in me socks because I just done this last bit and cut in. So, and it's raining outside and all muddy. Even though it's sort of 10 degrees in here, you can still walk nice and, you know, had the heat off since before in the afternoon. But um, I can walk El Socoed without my feet cramping up, which is quite a surprise. Um, so, yeah, it's nice and soft underfoot. It does reflect a little bit of heat back off you off your feet so obviously it was going to do that if you're going to heat your room just my thoughts on this stuff it was what was it 54 pound for and whether i bought 64 square um i know i went more than i was going because i was going to use some of it to put the boiler on um so i ordered another pack which i've still got spare which is handy because if I move, if I ever get rid of this, I can replace it with full tiles. You get a bunch of edging on each one. You get two pieces of edging. Um, OCD people, I mean real OCD people, won't like it. Because it comes in a pack of four, as you can see there. So I presume uh, they have a big die that comes down and presses this out on a mat and cuts it. So every four do not pattern perfectly you can see here they don't quite match up to me doesn't bother me these two here fine that one them um, i think yeah that'll no that doesn't quite match either you see there's a little bit of a dip in that one uh but other than that it's fine as long as you can sort of wiggle it so it's good enough in my world anyway um, and I've just gone under me table there rather than cut them all down. Uh, the only thing is obviously it's quite soft. Um, it will mark. I had my boiler that has come out, not quite come out. There's a little circle pattern there where that boiler sat and that's not heavy. My empty uh, fermenter at the minute is on cast so that's going to push in um because you're talking 50 liters there 50 kilos so and i've just cut some mat and put underneath the feet here just to reduce some of the pressure i might put a piece of wood under or a tile or something but uh yeah it's, it's okay if you're going to use a wheelie chair it's not gonna it's no good for that because you would just sink and tear it um, and obviously if you're going to drag anything over it, you would tear it. You would uh, sort of rucker up. But it cuts fine. It's easy to work with. I just used a pair of heavy-duty scissors to cut it. Didn't bother using the craft knife or anything. Um, so, yeah. Durability, I don't know. Obviously, this isn't a high-traffic area. I sort of obviously sit down in a chair or I'm walking or sitting on my brew space there or i've got the model railway layout here so for me just basically light traffic is fine but um depends on what application you're going to use it for but for insulation it's nice this is the 12 mil stuff there is some cheaper stuff that's 10 mil which is a bit well i would say flimsy don't know what this stuff is like really but um this is 12 mil um, I presume you know you get what you pay for if you're going to pay for a really expensive one uh, sort of gym mat quality then the density of the foam would be a lot better but um, it is what it is um, it's £54 for 64 square feet I think it was so I'm happy with it so far for what I want you know it might reduce the heat loss in the room marginally probably so insignificant you won't know this is a, a hollow floor it's off the ground so it's not in direct contact with the soil 
But uh, yeah, I'm happy with it so far for the money. Um, I did look at sort of like those shock mats, anti-fatigue mats, um, and have one or two, but they are more money than this stuff. Um, and this feels okay, it's springy under feet, underfoot, so yeah, for what it is, I think it's okay. There was some that was marginally cheaper, but it was 10 mil. Um, they are called Easy Mat, they're on eBay. Um, basically, you just buy these in quantities of four to whatever square footage you need. So you get 16 square feet on each one of these packs that's four panels, basically. So, yeah, we'll see. Now I can uh, get the trestles back in and the board back up and test some of those locos I bought.